Hi, this is Moran Pober, and today I'm going to share with you 14 different ways to get unlimited amount of leads and prospects to your small business. I don't care what business you have, this is the most important thing for you to do every single day. You don't need to opt in, you don't need to buy anything, just me sharing my journey, my strategies and what works for me. So enjoy. So to begin with, I don't care what business you're going to start or what business you already have. There's nothing more important than those two things. One, getting leads. Two, selling those leads. Basically, leads and sales. If you don't have those two, you don't have a business. This, those, are, those two are probably the, the, probably the most important thing for you to focus on on a daily basis. Especially if you're, new, you're a new business. If you're doing at least, like let's say you're doing less than a million a year. This is literally the only thing you need to think about every single day. How do I bring in more prospects and how do I sell those prospects, my services, and obviously make sure your service is adding value and all that. This video is not about that. It's more about, first of all, how to find those potential clients and leads. Remember, if you don't have leads, you don't have sales. If you don't have sales, you don't have money. And if you don't have money, you don't have business, basically. If you don't have money coming in from sales, you don't have any cash and your business can only survive for a, a small amount if there's no cash coming in. Getting leads, getting sales, you need to find a way for you to build a habit to work daily on those things. If you have employees, you need to find a, a way to install that habit with them. Whatever it takes, guys, you need to find a way for you to be focused every single day on getting more leads and getting more clients. So after we hammer that down and now we understand that getting more leads and getting more sales is important, let's get into more on how to use, what can you do to basically find those leads. In a nutshell about me, if you're new to this channel, why should you even listen to me? Well, I've been involved in 12 different businesses over the last 10 years or so, some of them seven figure businesses, and I'm here to document and share my journey. Over the last few years, I've Basically, I'm in the space of investing and buying businesses. This is what I do 24 seven. I'm looking for businesses to buy alongside obviously my partners. And I'm here to share with you what I had to pay a lot of money to learn. And I, I guess I, I want to cut your learning curve. So you, want to, you won't have to go through the, the, the struggles that I had to go through. And it's just cool for me to document in what I'm doing. I think it's, it's pretty unique experience. I worked with billion dollar mentors. I paid a small fortune to learn from some of those people. Uh, my partner right now did more than 250 deals um, worth more than $50 billion worth of transactions. I'm basically trying to, to learn as much as I can from him and, and grow the company with him. Our, we basically have an investment group. We're looking to buy companies and find just good businesses and good people to work with. Now, the reason I'm sharing with you what I'm doing, so basically I'm in the space of buying businesses. Maybe you're not in that space. Maybe you just have an existing business. The reason is that I don't care what you're doing. You need to prospect. So for example, for me, maybe I don't prospect. We don't prospect for new clients in our business. Our main business is to buy business. We prospect to find businesses to buy, but it doesn't matter. Those same steps can apply to you finding a client. For me, just I use the same process to find a business to buy. Obviously, within those businesses, there are those steps to find clients. And yeah, I don't care what business you have, what sector, what industry, what niche. Most of those things can apply to both B2B, B2C, can apply to even real estate investing. As long as you need some kind of prospecting and leads to your business, you can use at least 90% of those things. So let's start. Number one is SEO or search engine optimization. I had one of my first businesses was uh, basically an agency doing search engine optimization for businesses for we had a few promotions that we were doing and trust me when you are first page in your target keywords for your business there is no better way to get leads it's amazing it's awesome it's fun it takes some time to get to those high rankings but trust me when you're there there's nothing like that so SEO is the first one find a way to rank high for your specific keywords for your industry and trust me, your life, that alone, use that. If that alone will, if, if you're gonna use that alone, you'll find ways to be high in specific keywords. And obviously there's obviously process just for that, which this is this video is not about that. You can learn that, you can hire an agency to help you with. It's gonna take you some time to get you high rankings, especially if you're in a competitive um, sector or location. But when you're there, there's nothing 
I like that. It's just awesome, it's good. You're having tons of leads and prospects coming from that alone. Number two, start a podcast. There are millions of people listening to podcasts every single day. I don't care what sector you're in, what industry you're in, there's probably a podcast in your industry. There are no, re no reason for you not to start one. This is the reason I'm doing this channel right now. I think, first of all, it's cool to document my journey. Um, and yeah, and it's also a great opportunity for you to build relationships with amazing people in your industry. You have an excuse to basically invite people to your podcast and share with them your audience. And that's why, you know, just have a win-win scenario for everyone. You have the option to meet amazing people in your industry. They have the option to talk about their life and what they want to share with your listeners. And it's a cool process. It can bring, can bring you amazing leads. I can tell you this, this channel alone, I mean, it's not big at all and it's bringing me amazing traction and amazing potential deal flow. Number three is start a meetup. Go to a site like meetup.com. Create your own meetup in your specific industry and start to invite people. Obviously, it depends on your target market. Let's say you want to target CEOs or um, executives in companies. Do that meetup specifically to that and start inviting them. And you, as the organizer, can have access to everyone. You're basically the facilitator and that's why everyone, you're basically going to be the person who's getting everyone involved and you're going to be there some kind of a leader. So everyone will be next to you around you and you can then provide them value with your services. Number four, cold calling. Trust me, if you can master this skill of cold calling, you can master everything in life. I don't care. This is probably, I mean, you'll need to overcome lots of your fears to call people you don't know and just ask to sell your service. Do that and your life will change. If you can do that with confidence and you can get results from that, obviously some people will care to you, some will hate you, some will love you, but if you can get results from cold calling, which obviously you can, I mean, people made millions of dollars in the past from cold calling, master this skill and you can master everything. So for cold calling. Number five, direct mail or the good old letters. Aim for at least 20% response rate on your letters. The more personal your letters are going to be to that specific person, owner or whatever is the potential clients of yours, the more personal, the more you're going to be involved with, hey, I know you from, just do research or everyone you send your letters to, research them before and make sure you understand about them. Add that to the letter and you'll see your response rate is going to skyrocket. So this is direct mail, good old letters, can give you amazing, amazing results. Number six, cold emails. Very similar to cold letters or cold calling, but just via email. Go to the website of the company that you want to contact and just message them. There's gonna be emails in the about section many times. And even if there's no specific email, many times they're just a contact us area in that website. And a little trick, if you want to get to the owner, that worked for me so well. Just email them, that this, even if it's a support team, right? Just email them and say, hey, I need to talk to the owner. It's on a confidential a financial discussion. I need you to forward me to the owner. And trust me, 90% of the time, they'll forward you to the owner because they're just afraid to, to get fired. So if you need to talk to the owner, do cold emails, send messages to as many companies as you can and ask to talk to the owner because it's on a confidential subject and you'll get amazing, amazing response. And obviously when you get to the interaction, find a way to add value to your potential client and then hopefully to, to sell your services. Number seven, create a YouTube channel. Just like this one, uh, I think it's a great platform to, to get in touch with your potential prospects. I think it's a great way to build rapport because you're in front of the person. It's almost like being one-on-one -on -one with people. You can see their, literally their eyes and, and understand who is the person. Great way to, to build a relationship, to get traction, and I think really great way to build rapport. I mean, just imagine you having calls compared to you having calls with a um, camera. I think video is just so much better. The way for you to build rapport and connect with people is, is, is so much higher. Number eight, social media. Anywhere from Facebook, LinkedIn, all the other ones that you want to use. I mean, Instagram, Snapchat, obviously it all depends on your business. There's obviously a process to follow in each. Uh, but social media in general and that includes advertising as well so you can advertise on facebook uh, instagram of course linkedin nowadays you can advertise every social media stuff you have groups in those social media you have linkedin groups facebook groups you can get amazing amazing deal flow 
if you can get in touch with people in those groups in social media in general i mean many times just you posting specifically in a specific group adding value or just sharing what you're doing can give you amazing leads number nine email marketing find a way to give value to people in return for their email so it can be anywhere from free training free report free uh, consultation just find a way to add value to people to get their email and then you have the option to follow up on their email basically and just add value to them over time build rapport that way build relationship that way email marketing great stuff i have colleagues and friends who's making who are making a lot of money just by sending emails to good prospects and the way to get those email are to is to provide some kind of value to to the prospect to the prospect number 10 events so unlike meetups when you need to create your meetups yourself and arrange everything events you just search google look for events in your specific industry and events that have your potential prospect go in there share your story introduce yourself don't be afraid don't be shy talk to everyone you can share your stories share who you are and find a way to add value to people tell them hey what you're doing what you're up to how can i add value to your life and find if there is a match between what you can provide to what they need number 11 leverage your network every one of you i don't care you have your phone you have contacts get in touch with everyone get them into sit with them for a coffee go out for a lunch talk to them on the phone and tell them hey i started this um, business whatever or i'm looking to do xyz let's have a coffee and then just tell them hey here's what i'm doing maybe you know someone who needs that don't ask them specifically if they're contact if you're a friend just tell them hey this is what i'm doing do you know potentially someone who needs that who needs that, that, that service or i can help with and obviously if they're good if they're contacted they'll tell you yeah i, I know josh who, who might need that I, i'll get you in touch with him and many other times they'll specifically tell you hey i need that how can i get involved so your contacts guys your close contacts your close circles you don't even know how much power you have and if if you have a service or a product that you're afraid to sell to your direct contact it means that you just don't believe in your product enough yet so you either need to change your product or service or you need to find a perspective or just a belief in you that you need to change in order to be able to sell to your close friends your service because again if your service really add value to people your first contacts or circle are the first people you want to give them that option to get in touch with that service because that can add value to their life so one what you want to help the people that are closer to you so last thing is as you know this channel is all about investing in businesses buying businesses so i'll add a few more ways to get in touch with prospects or deal flow in, in our case with businesses and again if you like this contact don't forget subscribe to the channel comment below let me know what you think and what what kind of videos you want me to post and hit the notification button so one brokers brokers are great they already have for me in my case businesses for sale we can get in touch with them and look for many many businesses number two are subsidiaries of big companies so many times big companies have lots of small companies under their holding company and many times you just don't want some of them so we can potentially get in touch with them and buy some of those subsidiaries for a fair amount and the third thing in my category is investors again investors many times have huge portfolio and sometimes they just don't have time or energy or just strategically it makes no sense to hold a specific business we can get in touch with those investors who hold those big portfolios and make an offer to buy those um, businesses in their portfolio for, for a fair price because they don't need them anymore now i think we gave you 11 11 ways without the business investing side of things 11 different strategies or 14 if you include the investment side of things to build yourself list of prospect leads deal flow the most important thing is whatever you choose from those if all of them are just one be consistent you gotta be consistent like everything in life you're not gonna get your six apps tomorrow if now you have a huge belly you gotta be consistent and i don't care which one of those you're gonna choose from the list stick with it for the next year and I want you to come back and tell me, hey, I didn't get even one lead from doing that every single day. There's no way. The only reason people can't achieve the result is because they're not consistent enough. They're not persistent enough. They gotta do it every day and improve every day and learn obviously from their mistakes. But if you're gonna pick even just one strategy to bring in prospect and be consistent and do it every single day, you'll have so many leads you won't even know what to do with them. And I'll finish with one thing. 
add value. Guys, I don't care what service you sell, what service you, you have or product, add value to people. If I mention things like cold calling or cold emailing or even direct uh, letters, when you do those things, always think, how can I help those people? Ideally in advance before they even paid. Because if you're just sending random emails to people you don't know saying, hey, I can sell you a website, no one will talk to you. They don't even know you. Find a way to add value. Just share whatever you can. Give them a free call, give them a free consultation, free advice. Just work for them for free maybe initially and everything will look different. So don't get in touch with them and just be like, hey, I, I want you to pay me thousand bucks for something just because I asked for it, right? Add value, find a way to show them that you can add them even so much, to add so much value for free. So then they'll say, hey, this guy added so much value for me for free. I wonder how much, how amazing it's going to be like if I like pay him. That's the way it should work. That's what I want you to do. You have tons of ways, go use them. And yeah, I'm sure you'll get tons of prospects now. Um, if you like this channel, if you like the, the, the topic, if you like the, the content, if you'd like to hear more about how to invest in businesses, how to buy businesses, even if you don't have experience or capital, this is what this channel is about. Subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.